Talks tonight how a university twinning link is helping to prepare Ukraine for a future after the war. Researchers are converting military drones to help rebuild the country's farming industry. And several Ukrainian students have also come to Leicester to continue their degrees. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball has been to meet them. Savouring a taste of normality, six months away from a war zone. Alexandra and her friends were studying English language and literature online, but now they've been invited to the University of Leicester. My teacher just said, like, do you want to go and study in UK for free? I'm just like, yeah, of course, of course I want to. I really like the city. It's kind of look like my hometown because the vibe is the same. I always wanted like to visit Great Britain. People are so nice here. I mean, they can randomly chat with you on the street. Uh, some random man uh, just started talking to me about the weather, <laughs> and it was so nice. <laughs> Their own city was targeted in one of the most notorious Russian attacks, an attack on a crowded shopping center in Kremenchuk. This camera caught the moment when the missile struck. My mom was working in a mall and she survived luckily because she went out five minutes before the missile hit the shopping center and 23 people died. Pieces of mangled metal from the shopping center. My friends uh, died in the mall, so it's incredibly painful for me. And when I came here, I, uh, I was surprised that I can live a normal life. Their families' lives back in war-torn Ukraine are still far from normal. But now researchers here are helping the country prepare for a future when the fighting stops. Just look at this. They're converting drones from military surveillance to rebuilding Ukraine's huge agriculture industry. This is, in effect, the modern equivalent of beating swords into plowshares. What type of information... Aldo's developing that technology with a team back at Kremenchuk University. It'll help them clear contaminated fields, then grow new crops more effectively. You have to get rid of the pollution that can be landmines, can be leftovers from the military operations. Once you've done that, you can on top get a better agricultural yield by doing specific and targeted fertilization, which is directed by the geolocation. How much difference do you think this can make? I really hope it's going to make a big difference. It's amazing. It's impressed Yeva and her Ukrainian friends. Here I see a lot of Ukrainian flags and this is really makes my heart warm. It's hard to been through it, but it's going to be OK. I know that we are going to win soon and we are going to rebuild our country with all the love we have, all the love we carry inside. So I'm really sure that Ukraine is going to rise up. Rising up with support from the university here, where they've still got another couple of months to enjoy student life before heading back home. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today, Leicester.